Hello there, I'm Teresa Dufour. Welcome to the all new CT Style. And I'm Ryan Christopher. It's already Thursday. Can you believe it? This week's really flown, flying by. It sure is, but it's great that it's warm again. Mm. I'm loving it. Finally warming up a little bit. And, and you have an exciting event tonight, right? Yeah, it's a fun event. It's over at the Mark Twain House. It's the mm. soiree at oh, the Mark yeah, it's Twain a cool House. Soiree. Uh, it's all to support my sister's place. They're an organization committed to ending homelessness by supporting women. They have a great party every year. They raise a lot of money, silent auction items, and it's just fun to be in the Mark Twain House. So. Absolutely. They were, I'm really grateful to be invited back again this year. So that's tonight. That'll be a great event. Uh, quick little story I, I wanted to share. Of course, you know Kirsten, our, our PR director here at the station. Yes, of course. Uh, before the show, she was telling me that yesterday she she got home uh, uh -huh. and, and realized that her son had a half day. And and she didn't even oh, know. No. She, she didn't even pick him up. Oh no, it was a little guy waiting for her? Yeah, he, he, he was waiting. Well, I, I, I think her, her husband picked up her son. I feel like that's something I might do. That will happen hey. to Baby do possibly. We Good will thing see, Grandma's right around the corner. Exactly. We want to give a shout out to our fan of the day. It is Denise Caliendo Hansen, who says... Welcome back, Teresa. You look so nice and tan. Lucky. Well, thank you so, so much. It's so great nice. to be back. Absolutely. You can be our fan <laughs> of the day, too. It's pretty easy. All you got to do is check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Send us a carrier pigeon. Whatever you want to do, you just got to connect with us. Now, uh, Teresa, yes. I, I think this is going to be a hot button for you, this story here today. It's, it's pretty uh, interesting. Well, I can relate. Yeah. Model Sarah Stage is getting a lot of attention these days. She is eight and a half months pregnant. In that picture. Is she really pregnant? She really is, but still has what it looks like uh, rock hard abs. Mm. The model has more than 1 million Instagram followers and she's been sharing pictures throughout her pregnancy. That's right. We have another shot here of a post workout at the gym. There she is. Uh, she's been criticized for being more concerned about keeping her body fit rather than growing a healthy baby. But Sarah says that her doctor says that the baby is perfectly healthy. Teresa, yeah, what do you more think about this? power to this girl. Yeah. If she could continue to work out and it's not harming the baby like the doctor said, I think it's great. She gained 18 pounds, so she must have been really little and in shape yeah. to begin with. I mean, a, a typical woman gains between 20 and 40 pounds, so she's eight and a half. So, plus, she'll probably add the extra two, so she gained 20 pounds. I don't see any problem so with that. So she'll make the cut, Teresa. She'll make think? the cut and her labor will be easy. I don't know about the crunches, though. And I mean, you have to do crunches to get those kind of abs. I can't see where that's healthy for a baby. Well, maybe not the crunches so much. Maybe she's a adjusting her diet, although whole grains are really important when you're expecting. Mm. But you know, if she has her doctor's uh, advice, I mean, they say if you were working out and you had a, a, a regime before you started, yeah. before you were pregnant, you can continue doing it. Okay. I didn't always work out before I got right. pregnant, so I'm not really working out. So you're really okay now out. not to work out as much, right. <laughs> so that's my excuse, but if this is something she's done her whole life, I think it's great, and she looks awesome, so. All right, well, we want to know what you think. Is Sarah putting the health of her baby in jeopardy by working out too much? We want you to post on our Facebook page. Just search at CT Style or on Twitter, at CT Style, and let us know what you think. Now, uh, we have some other baby news, because that's <laughs> all we want to talk about is, is baby What's wrong with that, now? right? No, oh, Everyone oh, loves babies. Nothing is wrong with that. Of course not, no. <laughs> Well, here is from an article published uh, by Thrillist. They analyze what every state in our country is known for. So, of course, drum roll, please. What is Connecticut best known for? The most twins. Twin births. Twin births. It's 5% uh, of all babies that are born here in Connecticut are twins. Are, are you sure that baby yeah, do is yep, not a twin? Yeah, there's just one baby do in there. Be positive. Positive. <laughs> okay, the well, pictures. all right. Well, I, I actually have a little confession to make here, Teresa. Uh, I have a twin, which I, I don't really Shut like up. to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really like to talk about it in public because it's a little... Is this a joke or no? No, no. This, you have a twin? Th this is very real. His oh. his name is, in fact, Brian. <laughs> I, I have a picture here that I'll share with you guys. Um, again, it's a little sensitive. Another drum roll because we need more drum rolls. There he is, Brian, my evil twin. Wait, what? <laughs> that's, that's him. You, that's you. His name is Brian. That is not me. He has Brian a beard, and, and his eyes are a little different. His nose is a little different, and he's not very nice. He's not a nice guy. He's like your alter ego? Yes, and he has a cubicle here at WTNH. Why? I don't know. And similar eyes in kinda, a weird way. Kind of Well, I guess you're twins. Hey, there that, that you have it. That makes sense. There's your fun that's fact. That's pretty funny. I thought you were serious, and no. I thought I knew everything no, no, about no, you. No, no. All right, well, here are a couple more interesting things we found out from the article. Ryan, did you know that Hawaii is the least likely state where you will collide with a deer? Oh, wow, there's useful Not information. Not so many deer in Hawaii. I'm, I'm going to go to Hawaii, I guess. Uh, but here's the, the best news, in, yes. in my opinion. Montana is known for having the longest cat lifespan, so I think I'm going to move there with Hunter. 
That's my boy. It's pretty interesting stuff. All right, All right. now we have a, a final story here today in What's Brewing. Uh, of course, you're a big fan of Happy Gilmore, right? Sure. Who, who is it? Who right? is a big fan? Uh, now, obviously, Bob Barker and Happy didn't the always best scenes in the movie. Yeah, sure. They don't have the uh, best relationship, but they try to settle their differences on Comedy Central's Night of Too Many Stars. Take a look at the clip. I think Price is Right is on now. We could watch that. Love the host. He's just yeah. so funny and not crotchety and angry. And you know what else is great about him? Tell me. He's worked 25 years mm -hmm. and never had to do the wobbity do waka waka woo voice. Yeah. You know, like a desperate idiot. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh. Screw you, Bobby, huh? They're still fighting these two, huh? Oh. Look at that. Oh. He's, he's got that left jab down. This suit is too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you have it. A little uh, reunion there for Adam Sandler and That's and pretty funny. They're still not friends. Yeah. Still not happening. <laughs> I, I, I guess not. Now, the exciting news today is that yes. over at Style Spin, which we're headed over to, uh, we have a, a good friend of ours who is actually uh, a friend of Bob Barker. So we're going to be talking to him. So let's head on.